Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a simple Storm intro animation inside of DaVinci Resolve. So this entire animation is driven by the audio. Uh, so here's a sample audio clip I have here. So let's listen to it. Alright, so we're going to use this audio to create our Swamp intro animation. So the first thing we'll do is create our background. I'm going to go to generators and drag in our solid color onto the timeline. Let's make sure that it matches the length. And in the generator, I'm going to go to color. I'm going to use this color over here. The next thing I'm going to do is go to titles and drag in the text plus. Put it onto the timeline. Here we can just um, change our text we want. We can do it right over here. I'm going to type in stomp and I can pick any font from here. So I'm going to use this font and let's make this extra bold. And now let's create our animation. So before we do that, let's make sure we move our playhead to the frame where our waveform is at its peak. So right at this point, uh, our waveform is at its peak. So I'm going to move my playhead over there and I can just go to the fusion page. Just click on it. And you can see that we have this time indicator over here which is saying 36 so this is the frame where our audio waveform is at its peak so basically this will be our first stomp audio right now what we can do is go to template and since our playhead is already on that frame we can simply go to layout and create a keyframe on center z because that's what we will animate we'll animate its scale so we're going to set that to zero at this frame and i'm going to move back to 26th frame Basically, you're going to move back 10 frames and I'm going to change the central Z value and set this to negative one. And you can see that it's still right over here. You know, after we change that value, I'm going to still going to go for negative 1.1 so that it is completely disappeared from our scene. All right. So if you scrub through the timeline, this is how our animation will look. We'll add one more animation to this so it will be tracking so again move to that frame 36 frame create a keyframe on tracking and let's move back to the previous frame which is 26 and set the tracking amount to 1.5 so now if you scrub through you can see that this is how our animation will look i'm going to i'm going to, go to spline and select center z um, select these two keyframes i can also click on this icon zoom to fit Select these two, hit S and then hit the T key and get you'll get the ease in and ease out value. I'm going to set ease in to 100. And if you play this, this is how it is going to look. It will be really quick. And you can add all sorts of animations to this. For example, you can go ahead and add a follower to this and animates its opacity. Um, you can do all sorts of stuff with this text animation, but I'm going to keep it really simple. So this is our first, our first animation will look. And now what I want to do is I want to create a drop shadow effect on this text. So basically we're going to just fake it. And to do that, we'll just select this template, control C to copy it and hit control shift V to paste it. And this will create an instance text. So I can just combine these two together. This will result in a merge node. I'm going to select this merge node and just change its center Y position. Bring it down and also click on this vertical icon to flip it vertically. So basically we have this reflection over here of this text. What I can do is in between the merge and the instance text, we're going to add a blur to this. And I'm going to set this to 15. So this is our blur over there. And uh, this is how our animation look. Uh, you can see that we have this weird thing going on in our animation. Since both of these texts have the same animation because of its instancing, we're going to just simply go to this merge and we can just hide this overlapping text over here by removing the or by setting the blend amount to zero. Okay, so on this frame, I'm going to set the blend to zero, create a keyframe and move forward two frames and set this to one. So if you check it out now, this is how it is going to look. All right, if you want to, you can go to spline and instead of having a linear animation, you can have it come in as a step in animation. So basically what we'll do is it will just jump from zero to one without creating any values in between. Um, so you can do that as well. 
that's our first animation and uh, if you want to change the color you can go to template and if i change the color of the text you can see that the uh, shadow color also changes so we need to de-instance the color group so let's select our instance text go to shading and right click and click on the instance color group and here we can just set the uh, color to black and you can also turn down the alpha i'm going to set this to 0 0.5 like so and if you go back to your edit page you can see your animation over here actually i can just um, change the color and let's make it black okay so something like that so if you play the animation this is how it's going to look right that's our first stomp animation now i can just create a copy of this text plus put it on a new track so once you have a copy now you can see that our next stomp uh, audio is right at the beginning so what i'm going to do is go to fusion page and uh, in the keyframes over here make sure that you click on it i'm going to select the template node over here expand it and i can select all of these four keyframes and just make sure that it starts at the very first frame like so and i'm going to do the similar thing with merge one as well let's zoom in a little bit select these two keyframes and just make sure that it starts at the beginning okay so it will look something like this go back to your edit page and all you have to do is just place it near the uh, second waveform or you can just place it right right a little bit before that so it looks something like this okay so i'm going to zoom out and we need to make sure that we trim the first text plus right under the second text so if you play this it says stomp but we can simply change it by selecting that text plus node and we can change it right inside the edit page we don't want to go to the fusion page to do that and i can just simply change it and there we have our second text and you can just repeat this process duplicate it put it right over here and change it to something else maybe let's say animation and just make sure that you trim it down like so and play it again that's how you can create this stomp intro animation inside of davinci resolve if you don't want to create this entire animation from scratch then you can download the template the link will be given in the description it's a completely free template but if you want to help out this channel then you can consider making a small donation and uh, you know you can use it uh, completely free if this video is helpful please don't forget to leave a like and also subscribe to the channel thank you so much for watching and i will see you guys in the next one